All right, here's one for you, the color catchers. Get them at Walmart, grocery stores. Uh, we usually use two or three per load. We do about 12 shirts, but there seems to be a misconception about the color catchers. You put them in and they suck the dye out and everything. No, 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 no. The color catchers, they do absorb the dye in the water. Like here, we're gonna throw some in here, the last rinse. What we like to do is get down in here, loosen up the shirts a little bit. Then we're gonna throw in three color catchers. And what the color catcher will actually do is float around in the water and absorb the dye that's in the water. So then when you're at the end of the load, you pull out your color catchers and they look like this. You say, oh my, what's going on here? Uh, if you get a color catcher like this, you want to do another rinse. We pull them out, they look like this a little bit. We might still do another rinse. It's very important, these color catchers, they do help take out some of the dye out of the water. But we use them more as an indicator whether we need to rinse again. Because uh, we don't want to ruin anybody's laundry. And the typical person that buys a tie-dye that doesn't know too much, they're just going to throw it in with the regular wash. And then they probably end up with some problems. So, yes, the color catchers. Shout! The color catchers. If you're not using this, you don't care about your customers. Till next time, this is JoJo Davis saying peace, love, and tie-dye. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.